Among the many events happening to mark the eclipse today, there was a watch party at the Akron Zoo. No way. Wow, <laughs> that sounds cool. It's so much more than just a celebration. It was an opportunity, really, to see how animals react to something as unusual as this. News 5's Maya Lockett tells us all about it. 2,500 people came to the Akron Zoo to watch the solar eclipse. Oh my goodness, look at that. Kids came to experience it with their families. It's very special, especially because um, they won't be here the next solar eclipse. We will for the next <laughs> Others travel to Akron with their loved ones. My father has um, pancreatic cancer, and so it's been, a, it, it's been an up and down roller coaster for a number of years, it's been four years, so he, but he's doing really great. So when he said he wanted to do this, I'm like, let's go. I'll do a vacation with my dad. Many people were excited to see if animals would react to the two minutes and 46 seconds of darkness. Historically, it seems like the biggest responses that you get are that your diurnal or your daytime animals seem to think when the totality hits that it's bedtime. So they go to bed or try to eat their dinner or something like that. And then your nocturnal animals or your nighttime animals think that it's time to get up. Carrie Bassett is the education mission manager at Akron Zoo. The zoo is participating in a citizen science program called Soundscapes Eclipse. The program will study what zoo and native animals are doing during the eclipse. We also have some animals here at the zoo that have never been studied. So I'm really curious to see like our red wolves and like our coyotes. Like do they start howling or doing anything like nighttime related? Right now we're standing next to flamingos and I know you said there's been a study on them before yep. back in 2017. Yes. Tell me so, about some of those findings. Yeah. They noticed that they were all like kind of looking up and around and trying to figure out maybe what had happened <laughs> and why it went dark so quick. But they did show like that uh, flock mentality to move together and protect the babies in the middle of their flock. But the important question is, how do you guys feel about the solar eclipse? Bassett says in a study from 2017, during totality, Galapagos tortoises began breeding, and once it was over, they looked up in the sky. Today, the Galapagos tortoises at Akron Zoo did not breed, but educators say they were much more active than usual in looking in the sky right before totality. It seemed that during the eclipse, it was nighttime for them. Bassett told me they began studying the animals two days ago and will continue to study their behavior two days after the eclipse. Reporting in Akron, Maya Lockett, News 5.